Hey YouTubers, so I'm coming at you today with a short video about my first um, experience in my medical assisting class. And then, of course, later I will be discussing my medical and patient coding courses that I'll be taking online one month at a time for each course. So, this program that I'm in is through Brightwood College. Um, for those of you that have not heard of it, they used to be called um, Kaplan College, but I believe something was going on with that, like they weren't accredited or something like that. So, um, or either it was called Kaplan University or Kaplan College, but they were not accredited um, from what I've researched. So they changed the name to Brightwood College and they are accredited, believe me, I did my research. I made sure I checked, double checked, triple checked everything before I spend money into a program so I can be certified and go ahead and go up the ladder to where I want to go um, as a physician assistant. Um, so let me get to that point. I am taking this program or doing this program to um, become a physician assistant and physician assistants, they, they can, get, they can um, get more involved with things that the physician does, like the exact same things that the physician does. They just, um, I guess they just work directly under the physician like side by side you know we're like their right hand man type of thing so as a physician assistant I can do minor surgeries I can prescribe controlled medications I can make diagnoses and give treatments so that's one thing I absolutely love about it um, and that drew me to it because we're 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 in high demand now but also as a physician assistant it drew me to it because it's it allows me to be more in control. Now, they get paid the similar price as a nurse practitioner, whether they're an, an advanced nurse practitioner, such as an, an uh, such as a nurse anesthetist. Um, they get paid the exact anywhere between, uh, let's say, eighty-five thousand dollars a year to a hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars a year. Now, the hundred and thirty-five thousand dollar a year range it's for those physician physician assistants that um want to go more into surgery so they'll get paid on that scale um i think family medicine family practice that's more like on the ninety thousand dollar side so it depends on where you want to go like i said i'm very interested in the surgery side so um it'll be up there in the 120s 135s but anyway I have to start off here and I was initially going to take this CNA program back in 2006 or 2007 but by me listening you know to certain people um, I did not pursue that and I, I kind of wish I did but no regrets so I'm happy that I'm back on track with things so now here it is I'm studying to become a medical assistant and then taking online courses in medical coding and I'm going through of course like I said an online program and um, after I take this extensive amount of courses I will be able to um, then take these two advanced they're called like advanced courses and they're like six hundred seven hundred dollars each but that will allow me to sit for the CCS exam which is the certified coding specialist exam so that's exactly what I want to do and I'm so excited so this is my journey so just keep out for my weekly videos um, there might even be some daily videos uh, because we have classes sometimes um, three days a week and then sometimes two days a week so I might give more than a weekly update but definitely stay tuned for that also, um, I will just be sharing you, sharing with you my journey on this amazing um, trip because I'm so happy that I'm back on track with things in my life. So um, you'll just be learning about courses that I'm taking. Um, if you're interested in going to Brightwood College, I guess you can just learn through me like whether or not this is the place for you to start your medical career. Um, maybe you want to become an ENT, maybe you want to become a patient care technician, which is the same as a nurse, certified nursing assistant. Um, you know, there's so many other things you can do um, to see where you want to go in for in the medical field. Um, 
what was I going to say? Um, in order for me to become a physician assistant, I have to have experience. Like I said, EMT, CNA, PCT, um, MA, which is what I am, CMA. Um, so I chose this field because it involves phlebotomy. And I was interested in that too, but I'm happy that I went towards this path. Um, also, surgical technician. I was actually looking into that, but I don't think that a... Um, I don't think that's like a part of a like general requirement to become a physician assistant because surgical technicians, they're only involved in the surgery room, in the operating room, in the OR. And um, medical assistants, we do a wide, more like, more broader range of um, duties. We are, we're involved in office management. We're involved in, like I mentioned earlier, phlebotomy. We're involved in, um, uh, uh, insurance, reimbursements, things like that, um, taking care of the patients, getting a getting all the vital signs of patients. Um, we're also involved in administering uncontrolled substances. So, um, you know, just stick with me and you'll just kind of learn the course of this medical assistant um, experience and journey at the from Brightwood College. So, um, Today was our first day of class, and we got our ID, um, you know, it says Brightwood College on there, so now I can take this off. Um, we got our uniforms on orientation day, um, which was last week, and I was a little bit cold in there, but it says, um, I'm using my laptop, it says Brightwood College, and the colors are royal blue. Um, they give you two sets of scrubs they're supposed to be giving us a third because they used to give two but now i guess they're just kind of upping their inventory and they're allowing us to get three sets of scrubs which is really what i want because if we're coming to the school to two to three days a week you know you would think you just kind of want to wear fresh clothes every week you know especially if you're sweating it's it's the middle of the summer and we're in maryland so it's extremely humid so you're talking about just sweating up a storm. So, um, anyway, um, so like I said, we got our uniforms. As you can see on orientation day, and that was it. Today, first day of class, we got our ID and we got our books. So I can go ahead and show that to you now. Now, the first part of the class um, it was just like a general um, outline of what we'll be doing, what we can expect. And um, then we went on to the lesson. This bag is so cute. My uncle gave it to me. It's by Clara V. She is like amazing. Oh, it smells so good. It's real leather and her designs are amazing, Clara V. I'm going to have to make another video. I don't want to get off topic, but it's by Clara V. I have another one of her bags, thanks to my uncle, who may be watching. But um, let me get into the books. So, as you know, I try to definitely stay prepared. Um, so, I got this notebook. I got this notebook a while ago from Target. Um, on sale. I don't play with Target because sometimes their stuff can be a little bit pricey. So I got this on sale. I forgot for how much, but isn't it cute? It's really cute. So, um, so I got that to keep my stuff in. I got my hole puncher, so I got to go ahead and punch all of these documents that they gave us in the beginning of class. You know, they gave us the calendar, syllabus, Another syllabus, um, of course we had to sign like a student conduct form and more calendars. So I'm going to hole punch these and put them in my notebook that I just showed you. They gave us um, Kaplan Advantage Academic Skills book. Um, da, da, da. They gave us medical terminology, which I'm already certified in. I have my certificate um, in medical terminology and Spanish for professionals. 
So this should be extremely, extremely easy to me since I've already, yeah, this will be, this will definitely be a breeze to me, not unless, um, cause you know, there's so many medical terminology out there, so many medical terms. So it's like, in case something is new to me, then, you know, it's not going to be much of a challenge, but it's still exciting, you know, to just keep practicing and practicing, memorizing all of this medical terminology. Um, and then also I'm um, taking my group exercise instructor license um, probably about in two weeks. So they also have medical terminology in there as well. So, you know, I'm really set with that class. And they also gave us this Allied Health Introduction and Fundamentals book. And this just covers, um, it covers everything from math for psych, uh, I said psychology, <laughs> math for pharmacology, uh, da, 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 da. pharmacology, vital signs, um, I'm just, you know, I'm not going to read every single thing, medical science and history practice, um, da, da, da. and this is also, um, by Pearson, for those of you that are, it's by Pearson. Uh, the other book was by um, Kaplan. Um, just kind of going to go over really quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Infection control, managing medical records, um, medical law and ethics, blah, blah, blah. So each week that I um, talk about my classes, I will definitely let you guys know what we're studying this week. Um, and things like that and how the course is going for me um, so this week we're doing the medical science history and practice and medical law and ethics and one thing I really like about how the class is structured is you know we come in we go over um, the professor's PowerPoint a, a general outline of what we'll be studying for that week um, sometimes like I said it was two chapters this week so um, I think, yeah, we'll be going over the two chapters, and it's like a bunch of modules inside each chapter. So um, we went over that, like, the first half of the class, and then the second half of the class, we were all in the lab and doing our assignment, doing our work. So it's very in-depth. Like, there's a lot of assignments to complete because we're only with this professor for three months. So it's kind of like, I guess, two or three courses every three months. So... Um, yeah, so, I mean, these are the only classes that I know that I have right now, and then they'll give us another breakdown of our next classes, like, here's the calendar, um, so just for these three months, I'll be taking these courses, um, yeah, so it's just like the academic skills, um, one course is academic skills and the other course is the allied health so it's just these two and i will be keeping you guys posted so please stay tuned if you are so so interested in medical assistant or like i said if you're just trying to figure out where you want to go and where you want to start definitely stay tuned i'm also on instagram lashana michelle on instagram so you can follow me there i'll probably be posting some stuff of you know the classroom or things like that um maybe a book or something things that i'm studying for that day um also on twitter at lashana michelle but with one l because somebody out there has lashana michelle with two l's so it's lashana michelle with one l on twitter and then lashana michelle with two l's on instagram i'm also on snapchat so with the same name lashana michelle with <laughs> i gotta check it out i think it's with two L's but type in anything I'll put it on the bottom of the video um so you can find me anywhere and I'll definitely be keeping you posted about my journey each week okay so stay tuned bye